What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome to Chris Budget Gears and Reviews. And we are going to make this quick, fast, and in a hurry because I already actually did a review on this because this is my second time purchasing this product, which is the Hogue, the Hogue Beaver Tail Grip Sleeve. Now, this is a precise fit for the CZP 10F, but they have this available for all kinds of models of firearms. So we're just going to go through the instructions, go through some of the features of it. Not going to hold you too long. Let's go through some of the features of it. Proportion finger grooves and palm swells naturally position fingers for optimal grip. Beaver tail helps cushion hand on recoil and allows higher placement of hand on the grip. Grip provides confidence and confidence promotes accuracy. Cobblestone texture provides an efficient, non-slip, non-irritating stippling pattern. Molded for modern, durable rubber, which is virtually impervious to all oils and solvents found around firearms. Now they also include some instructions, and what the instruction says is, which is what I did, you cut you two little slits of the plastic so that you can put them right here to help kind of guide the sleeve until the grip of the firearm they also say that you could use an alcohol based lubricant like window cleaner me preferably i like to use a blow dryer because they also say you could use a blow dryer you can heat it up with boiling water but i just kind of use a blow dryer to kind of get the rubber a little hot so it'll stretch and be able to move a little bit more easier and you just basically just keep pushing it up there until it gets all the way up there so one of the things that you have to remember is you want to make sure that you push it up far enough so that when you insert your magazine, once again, we are clear. So go ahead, drop the slide. When you insert your magazine, that it won't interfere with you inserting your magazine. So you want to make sure that you got it pushed all the way up. But taking a look at it, I like it. I actually had it on this same firearm in the past. Then I moved over to the Talon grips. And I decided I wanted to go back to this grip. And you can actually get it from off of Amazon too. Or you can order it directly from Hogue. Now on the last one that I had, I actually cut the finger grooves off. But for some reason, I'm kind of just going to leave the finger grooves on there this time. I don't know why I cut them off before, but this time my hand just kind of falls perfectly. I think maybe last time I had that small grip on there. Well, I had the large grip on there. I got the medium back strap, should I say. I had either the small back strap or large back strap. This time I got the medium back strap. And I think with this medium back strap, once I get a good grip on it, my fingers just kind of fall nice and good into them finger grooves right there. So I think I'm going to leave the finger grooves on there this time. Another thing I noticed about this too, even when I had my dovetail mount, is that by having this grip on here, it just makes it a lot more easier to find that dot. I don't know if it allows me to hold the gun more parallel to the ground, so it's more easier to find a dot, but I just noticed that with this grip sleeve on here, it makes it more easier for me to find a dot. So I just kind of wanted to show it to y'all. Put it back on the CZP 10F. This is what we running for EDC right now. But that's it though man that might be something y'all want to take interest in man if you got if you're an older shooter and your grip ain't what it used to be if you had an injury to your hand like myself and your grip ain't what it used to be or if you just have weak grip you might want to check this out right here the hogue hand off beaver tail grip sleeve good product i like it that's why i went back to it Nothing against the Talon grips, but just something about this right here. I just like this. It just really allowed me to get a real good purchase on it and a good grip. So that's it though, man. Y'all be blessed, be safe, and I'm out.